Hi there, I'm Cynthia and I'm an instructor at UCLA Extension Writers Program as well as at yourhollywooddream.com. This year I was teaching as most everyone else online using Zoom and as a final project, my students had to do a pitch for their television series. Well, as you can probably imagine, this was a bit challenging. Two of my students took it in stride though, and they presented a pitch that I thought would be fun to share. Here it is, and I'll catch you on the other side. Let's go uh, with Lynn and Landon. Are you, are you ready? And they are the we are. writing team. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Perfect. Go for it, guys. So we should go for it? Okay, why don't you go ahead, yeah. Landon, you go first. Oh, okay, uh, sure. So, um, yeah, we had this half hour comedy series. Oh, wait idea. a minute, I'm sorry, wait, wait. Before we start the pitch, did you get my coffee? Uh, yes, yes, so sorry, here we go. Okay, Oh, great. hold on. Thank it's you, I got it, Full Thanks. and hot and- Got cold. it, got it, got it, thanks. Good, go ahead. All right, okay, so in our series, there's this young kid and- Oh, this uh, is really good coffee, good job. Right, thank yeah. you. Okay, yeah. so this kid, Junior, he arrives yeah. in LA from some small town far, far away. And, and why is he coming to LA? Well, to make it big in the movie business, of course. Of course, why else would anyone come to LA? Yeah, so he comes into this coffee shop in Beverly Hills. Hey, didn't you work in a coffee shop in Beverly Hills? I did, and it was crazy. So our series takes place in a coffee shop in Beverly Hills. Exactly. So just imagine all the high powered industry executives, celebrities, the entitled billionaires, and then the broke baristas, the haves versus the have nots. The downtrodden working class colliding with the obnoxiously entitled rich. Exactly. Great, that formula always works. It's true. So what about this kid junior? Is he based on you? Well, he is cute and charming and <laughs> smart, you know, a real people person. I like him already. Yeah, but he's also young and naive and idealistic. You know, he has no money, no connections, no experience, and yet he still thinks he could just show up in Hollywood and start directing movies. So he is based on you. And he's in for a rude awakening just about every five minutes. Welcome to Hollywood, kid. Yeah, so he gets to town, and he's broke, and he doesn't even know it at first, but he has to find a job. That's probably going to be hard for him. Not at all. It's actually going to be super easy, barely an inconvenience. He wins over all the difficult regulars and starts working at the coffee shop like it's nothing. Okay, so who's the love interest? Well, Heidi. Heidi? Yes, Heidi. Okay, so she's some sexy model type or something, because I know how much you like those kind of characters. I do. But no, uh, Heidi is actually a super hard worker who follows all the rules and does everything right. Oh, God, she sounds kind of boring. Well, but she's also a temperamental bitch, so. Oh, okay, that's good. Much better. Yeah, so personality-wise, she's the polar opposite of Junior. And opposites attract. Well, Junior is really attracted, you know, really attracted, but Heidi is kind of repulsed by him, to be honest. Oh, so great. So we're rooting for Junior to get what he wants, but what he wants... Heidi, who wants nothing to do with him. Exactly. Okay, great. That formula always works, too. It does. And there are some other cool characters, too, like Vex. Yeah, Vex. Yep, and he doesn't like working with Junior. So is Vex a jerk? Well, no, not really. He's just kind of cynical and defeated and broken down because his own Hollywood dreams have never come true, even though he's been trying for years and years and in years. So he's just like everyone else in this town. Yep. I love it. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Junior is kind <laughs> of like SpongeBob and Vex is kind of like Squidward. Fair enough. Continue. Or you could think of Vex as a younger version of Stanley from The Office. Yeah, got it. Okay, so what about the customers? Uh, well, there's Harry. Um, he's the writer that's always sitting in the corner all day, every day, making witty wisecracks and, you know, writing things down. Wouldn't be a coffee shop without one of those guys. So Harry kind of mentors Junior, but Junior doesn't always take his advice when he should, and then often takes his advice probably when he shouldn't. So that fuels all kinds of ridiculous, funny situations that wouldn't just happen naturally. Exactly. 
And then there's Kenna. 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 She's young. She's rich. She's beautiful. And her daddy is a Hollywood power player. And she has her eye on Junior. Oh, wait. So Kenna is hot. And she has the hots for Junior. And Junior is hot. But he has the hots for Heidi. But Heidi's a temperamental bitch. Exactly. So that's yes. brilliant. It's brilliant. It's like a love, a young adult love triangle. I bet no one's ever thought of that before. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure they have. Well, great. That means it's a formula that works. Definitely. Okay, so Junior spends most of the first season trying harebrained schemes to make his Hollywood dreams come true. And when the love of Heidi and pretty much never succeeding. Doesn't that get old? Not at all. Uh, you know, each character has a rich backstory and we have a five season story arc and Junior, well, Junior is delightful. Of course, okay. And every episode is gonna be packed with romantic tension. You know, besides, did that old show Cheers ever get old? No, Cheers never did get old. It was a great show and relatively cheap to make given the single location nature of the production. Hmm. I think television needs another series just like Cheers. Okay, so think of this series as a more modern version of Cheers in a coffee shop in Beverly Hills. Perfect. So what should we call this series? Well, we call it Ground Up. Ground Up. And it's awesome. Cheers. Cheers. Don't break the cups. <laughs> Nicely done, guys. Thank you. So what did you think of Luna and Landon's presentation? Pretty good, huh? They really knew how to use Zoom to their advantage, not their disadvantage. And they came across as not only great creatives and have a great sense of what goes into a television series, they came across as real great people that I want to work with. So the next time you think that there might be a challenge in working with the medium of Zoom, take it in stride, use it to your advantage. Do what Lynn and Landon did. They not only wrote the pitch, they wrote how to actually present the pitch. They re rehearsed it with another student, which I found out later. So all in all, it was a fantastic positive experience. Thanks for coming by to see how a pitch can be done by Zoom. And I'll see you in the next video.